Why are Kenyans so good at long-distance running? For decades, white writers, anthropologists, researchers, and journalists have tried to find out what makes great Kenyan athletes great. It seems, to them, that Kenyans are always in a hurry going somewhere. In 1964, even before the country was done signing papers that would make it a republic, a Kenyan ran off to the Summer Olympics in Japan and took off with a medal. It was only a bronze medal, so no one noticed. His name was Naftali Temu. He came home, told guys how slow the rest of the world was and how easy it was to snatch stuff out there. They didn't believe him so he agreed to go show them. Four years later, in 1968, they went back and when they returned, medals were all over the place. This time, he took away with gold. Two of his friends, Kipchoge Kena and Amos Biwat, also sped off with gold. Some of his friends snatched silver while others went for the bronze. In total, they brought back nine medals. It was sensational. They talked about it on the radio, and we read about it on newspapers. But it was too good to be true. More Kenyans hurried off to faraway lands to see for themselves, and they brought back the same news, carrying gold and silver as evidence. It became a Kenyan thing. Then the white man who created the sports started asking questions. Who is grabbing all the medals? Anthropologists and their reporter friends had all the answers, explaining why these blacks are just too damn fast. They told their readers that it was some black gene, which makes Africans good at physical labor while whites, with their white gene, prosper in mental labor. They told their children that it's because those poor blacks had to run 10 miles to and from school barefoot and they got used to it. They said the government of Kenya had discovered some secret nutritious ingredient that Kenyans fed on. Anything but hard work and dedication. I mean, even if you're not white and your career doesn't revolve around poking your nose in other people's lives, you would ask yourself the same question if you saw the statistics. You could probably come up with the same answers. Why not? The first time they participated in the Olympics, they won a medal, and from there, they've gone to all sorts of international running competitions. Whenever they show up, two things are for sure, either they take all the top three medals, or they break a record. Take the London Marathon for instance. In the last one and a half decades, Kenyans have won the gold in 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. It's the same for the Boston, Berlin and Chicago marathons. Maybe all the remaining gold medals should simply be given to Kenyans in advance of their future wins. It makes sense. For a whole decade, one Kenyan has collected gold in 10 out of 10 marathons he went into. His name is Eliud Kipchoge. But who are these people? Has the Kenyan government really discovered a secret speedster baby formula? Is running to school barefoot as a teen so rewarding in the long run? Or are they simply extremely dedicated to their sport? According to Kipchoge, it is all about discipline, training, and determination.